In this video, we will study the important vector spaces that are associated with matrices row space, column space, and null space. Let's look at this matrix A with a size of 2 by 3. So I can write the matrix A in the form of row vectors consist of the first row R1 and R2 or I can write it in the form of column vectors C1, C2, and C3. If matrix A is N2 M by N matrix, then the subspace of Rn, so this is the number of columns, spanned by the row vectors of A is called the row space of A. And the subspace of Rm, the M is the number of row, spanned by the column vectors of A, of A is called the column space of A. So let's look at this example here. The row of A is row 1 and row 2 with the 3 and 3 here. So this is actually 1, 2, and 3 columns. And that's why we call the subspace of Rn corresponding to the number of columns spanned by the row vectors of A. And for the column vectors of A, which is the 1, 4, 2, negative 1, and 3, 0, actually depends on the number of row here. That's why we say that the subspace of Rm, m corresponding to the number of rows here. And the solution space of the homogeneous system of equations, ax equals 0, which is a subspace of Rn, is called the null space of A. So the solutions that you found out for the x is actually the null space of A. And now the questions that we need to ponder is, what are the relationships exist among the solutions of ax equals to b and the three spaces mentioned here the row space column space and the null space now let's consider the two system of linear equations here the first one is given in this form and the second one is given in this form so the similarity between both system of linear equations is actually on the left hand side the equations are the same it's just that the solution or the concern on the right hand side are different. So for the first case, the case A here, we have a homogeneous linear system because the constant on the right hand side are all zeros and the constant on the right hand side for the second case, case B, are not all zeros. So now I want you to pause the video and you use your row operations method to solve this case, the first case and the second case. And I want you to compare the solutions of both cases. So you should end up with these solutions where when you arrange the x1, x2 and until x6 and there are associative solutions here, you should be able to express it in this form. So the first column here is actually the constant in each solution here. So do we have a constant in this solution? We don't have because everything, every term in associated with x1 is expressible in the form of rst which are the free variable here and similar for the x2 until x5. The only constant that we have is the x6 so I can write it in this way. So this is a column vector full of constants and this is actually a particular solution of ax equals to b. We call it the x0. And on the other hand, we have another three column vectors here, R, S, T, corresponding to the three free variables here. So these three column vectors are the general solution of AX equals to zero. We call it the homogeneous solutions here. So the combinations of these two, the X naught, the particular solution, and the general solution of the homogeneous linear system is the general solution of AX equals to B. So you should have these kind of solutions based on your calculation from the first case and the second case here. So what does it mean by the particular solution and the general solutions here? So let's imagine that this is the general solution of ax equals to 0 and when you add it with the particular solution x not here, it's actually you shift it, you shift the solution space to another form ax equals to b here. So the entire solution set of ax to b equals to b can be obtained by translating the solution set of ax equals to 0 by the vector x not here. So based on your inspection here, try to recall back what is the dimension for this system of linear equations. How many bases do we have here?